This is our reduced pressure backflow preventer. Um, these are designed to prevent any water from coming backwards from the distribution side into our water treatment facility. Now the way this works as water is flowing through the system, it's going to flow in one direction. There's a, a check valve number one which is in here. It opens up which causes a, a pressure differential zone to equalize and it'll seal once the pressure goes through the first check valve it pushes on a diaphragm to close the secondary diaphragm and after it's closed that diaphragm it comes down to another check valve and opens it up now if there's ever water uh, backflow scenario water will come try to come backwards this first check valve if it's leaking it'll re change the pressure settings the pressure readings in inside the internal which will push the diaphragm open which will then leak water at the bottom and you want this so that anything upstream of your water treatment plant, you don't want to contaminate your system with water flowing backwards into your system, contaminating your entire water treatment plant. These should be tested once a year by a certified tester and also repaired and rebuilt by certified testers as well. If you have your certified tester on hand, what they'll do is they'll take these apart. And you gotta be careful when you're taking this cap off. It is spring loaded to keep the diaphragm closed or open. Pull your full four plate bolts out. And then slowly lift it up as the spring tension comes off. So this is the inside, this is the diaphragm that I was talking about. And this just slides out of here, that O-ring just fell off. And it goes inside there and this is the diaphragm that opens and closes the bottom valve. So this in the resting position, this valve wants to be open but it takes the supply water pressure to keep this unit closed so it's not leaking all the time until it detects the pressure change coming from the upstream. So this would come out and there's our spring, our bolt. And then from here, we got a spacer that keeps the two check valves from sliding in and out. And then you can see our two check valves right here. So now how this works, this is check valve number two, which is sitting here. So how this works is water comes in there, it pushes on this, opens this up and water gets out into your distribution. And when it's sealed, there's no flow and water's trying to come backwards, it'll try to force this closed. But if it is leaking inside of there, it'll detect it on the inside here, pressure differential change. Once the downstream pressure becomes higher than the upstream pressure, then the diaphragm opens up because then it doesn't have the water pressure keeping it closed anymore. So to put them back in, you check all your O-rings, make sure there's no cracks, and, and each one of these rebuild kits comes with its own grease to make sure that you put them on these O-rings so they don't dry out. So you just slide it back in until it's in place. Take your spacer back in. Now the spacer can only go in, in one direction, so, and it might take a little bit of wiggling to get it in there. Take your spring, and you can line it up on the seal on the bottom. That goes in there. And your diaphragm comes in next. So you'd inspect this for damages and stuff, and look at that, we actually have some damage on the seal. So we'd order a new kit to rebuild this. So this just slides in. There's your spring tension. Your cap comes back on top. Always make it so the writing is towards you. You push it all into place. And you have to hold it down because the spring is getting some back pressure. And then we tighten it down, and that's that.